Brandon Green, also a transfer from Oklahoma. Luther Burden the third as well. He had a verbal commitment to Oklahoma, but switched gears and decided to stay home as a Mizzou Tiger. Now switching gears for a moment, we are going to talk about the changing landscape that is college athletics. Joining me now to talk about these changes, including the introduction of revenue sharing, is Mizzou's athletic director, Laird Beach. Laird, what can you share about Mizzou's vision as it relates to the changing landscape that is college athletics? Yeah, well, really, if, if the vision is if we want to have more nights like this, right? This kind of energy, this kind of stage, the, how much hype and, and lead up there's been to this night in particular, playing Oklahoma on a setting like this, that we've got to recognize where we're headed as well. So a lot of what we're trying to do right now is just create an awareness with our fan base that, that revenue sharing and things that happening in college athletics are coming. And we need to be prepared for that. And we need to have the will to win, the will to invest, to make those kind of things happen. So that's what a lot of we're trying to do now. And then position ourselves so that we're ready for when that comes. To stay competitive in the SEC, you need resources. So how do you feel Mizzou is at right now to be able to handle those adjustments coming in the future? Yeah, you know, candidly, we're behind in, in, in many respects from a resource standpoint. We're doing some things really well, particularly in the NIL space, but we've got to find ways to increase revenues. And you know, we'll be talking more about that, but I also want our fans to know that we're going to do our part too, right? We're going to be smarter and wise, more wise with our money, our resources, how we're spending Spending, investing well, uh, and asking our people at the same time to do more so that we can be competitive. I understand there might be a change in ticket pricing for seasons to come. Can you explain what other adjustments might be coming for fans interested in coming out and supporting Mizzou Athletics? Yeah, and you know, I alluded to that in some, some communication last week, and we can anticipate, we need to anticipate that ticket prices are going to increase, and they are going to increase significantly because they're going to have to for us just to get back to uh, what our peers are doing in, in our conference and we're not going to do that all at once but we're going to have to take some, some significant steps um, so more information is coming we're about to we're close to having that finalized so here in the, in the coming weeks we'll be providing more information you say a will to win how can you talk about that when you talk about what mizzou wants to do to continue growing and furthering along in this changing landscape yeah well you know one of the things i greatly appreciate is that our university leadership has recognized that we need to invest in athletics in order for us to be successful and now, as a fan base and as an athletic department, we need to come alongside that and, and, and have the will to win. And in many ways, that's reflected by our will to invest. Because for us to be competitive, particularly with revenue sharing coming, a lot of it is going to be about how much we're willing to pay, how much we're willing to invest in the programs to realize success. So we're going to be really direct and straightforward about that, and we need our fan base to come alongside that and want to be a part of it. Last question for you. There are a lot of people on these sidelines tonight because this is a rivalry renewed you guys haven't played Oklahoma since 2011 back when you all were both in the Big 12 what does it mean for you to renew this rivalry here to see all the people that wanted to come and see Oklahoma and Mizzou face off right here at Memorial Stadium yeah well you know when you have moments like this you're reminded how emotional and how how real this is to so many people so many memories it dates back to 1902 so it really truly runs deep for a lot of people and you know for myself and the old big eight days and the things I experienced in my time here before there's a ton of memories and a ton of ton of relationships that are formed in nights like this so we need to take advantage of that and really enjoy it and, and really foster these kind of opportunities Laird really appreciate you for chatting with us today yeah, happy appreciate to do it. it take care my Z thanks guys Laird played his college at Kansas State I assume he doesn't really like Oklahoma either <laughs> coming